Hey guys, EMP5 Reviews here. Today I've got a book I found off of eBay when I was scrolling through looking at different historical items and MREs, and I came across this book that is 102 years old. It says, Political Summary of the United States from 1789 to 1920. Very old book. You can tell just by the feel of it. It's in pretty good shape considering it's 102 years old, and it's from somewhere at Iowa State Library in Des Moines, Iowa. It says Class 329, Book E62. Not sure where that's from or who it belonged to, but again, this is from the Iowa State Library. Political Summary of the United States, 1789 to 1920 by Ernest Fletcher Clymer. Made by New York E.P. Dutton and Company at 681 Fifth Avenue. And there's the copyright, 1920, Chandler and Company, Inc. We are able to publish this useful reference book through the courtesy of the Investment Banking House and Chandler and Company Incorporated, New York, Philadelphia, and Boston. And it talks about the early government electoral system, biographies of the presidents, political parties and their origin, political parties in order of their appearance, and presidential election. And it's talking about pretty much all that stuff. It talks about stuff with politics from the United States from 1789 to 1920. So, goes over that a little bit. You can tell it's an older book by the feel of the pages, by the way the words are typed onto it, how much dead space there kind of is on the pages compared to a normal book nowadays. Goes through stuff about the electoral college system. Goes through biographies of the presidents, the 28 presidents from 1789 to 1920. Goes over their name, what party they belong to, their inauguration date, how long their term was, where they resided, where they were born, where they died. Talks about their college, what their jobs were. So you got Washington, Je Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Quincy Adams, Jackson, Martin Van Buren. Talks about their parentage, their children, their spouses. And it goes all around. goes through, then it talks about political parties and their origin, the Federalists, the Republicans, brief history of each party, National Republican Party, Democratic Party, Anti-Masonic Party, Whig Party, Liberty Party, Free Soil Party, Constitutional Union Party, Greenback or Independent Party, Prohibition Party, goes over all the different political parties and a little bit of their history political party in their order of appearance, what years they started to exist. And then it's got all the different presidential elections. So it talks about elections back in 1789 and a little bit of their history and talking about their electoral vote. Goes over the rest, 1812, 1816. It eventually starts adding in the popular vote and the plurality and the electoral vote for each election. Shows the political party who ran. Really, really interesting stuff. Keeps going, goes through them all. Gives a lot of little extra information depending on what was going on during that election. And it's still going. And that's the end, all the way up to 1916. But other than that, that's it. It's a really, really short book, but it was a little cool piece of history, and I just love having old books now. The older I get, the more interested in history I get, and the more teaching I do, the more I want to have all these older types of uh, historical texts. So that is that. Something I'm going to stick in my classroom and let my students look at if they're ever interested. Uh, please, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, comment, uh, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.